common problem with a lot of the different pictures that we take is having a noisy or a disruptive background. In this particular case, here's a picture of my son Jack batting, and the picture itself is, is pretty decent. It's kind of a nice action picture. The problem is, is that we've got uh, folks behind a fence here, the spectators behind a fence, and because they are uh, kind of in focus and, and kind of sticking out there, they're interfering with the subject of the picture. A trick you can do in Photoshop Elements and a lot of diff different I image editors is you can de-emphasize the background, and that's what we're going to do here in this short little tutorial. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our lasso tool, and we're going to come over here and actually select the background. And when I do the selection, I'm, I'm in essence going to just kind of generally draw around Jack. Now, if I was going to take more time, if I really wanted to take some time to do this, I would take the time to precisely select him instead of doing a general selection. But in this case, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it quickly. I'm kind of in. I'm in a hurry with this picture, we'll say, and I. I just want to do it quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to select him in a general way, but then we're going to use a concept called feathering, which will allow us to blend our selected area with our non-selected area, which makes the changes we we are going to make blend better with the entire picture. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our selection. I'll kind of go along the grass down here. And you can see that I'm whipping a crong here pretty quickly. I'm going to stay, try to stay as tight as I can to him here, up around his helmet. And, you know, again, I'm, I'm certainly not doing this perfect in any particular sense here. As we kind of draw down here, along the grass. Of course, the catcher, his arm is actually in the foreground, so we're going to make sure that we keep that there. And then I'm going to go outside the frame of the picture and we'll go up and over and down again and then let go. And there we go. You can see how I've got the background selected. Okay. Now again, to make this better blend with the part that we're not going to affect, I'm going to go to the select pull down menu and I'm going to grab a really cool tool called Refine Edge. And when I click on Refine Edge, the Refine Edge window comes up. And you can see that there's kind of a red cast now that is masking over the part that I don't have selected, uh, sort of visually showing me what is and what isn't selected. Now, the, the, the cool thing about this window is that I've got this neat slider called feathering. And with feathering set to zero, you can see here that I get a very sharp edge of my selected area. Okay, But as I drag this feathering slider over and drop it, and a little bit more and drop it, and a little bit more and drop it. What's happening is, is that the edge is getting soft, and this soft edge is what's going to allow the selected part of the picture to blend with the non-selected part of the picture. In essence, it allows us to select a portion of a picture again, do some changes to it, but then make it blend with the rest of the picture. So we'll go ahead and do that here, and that doesn't look too bad. I think we'll leave it just about right there. Okay, click OK. We'll be back to our picture here. All right, now it's time to go ahead and de-emphasize the background. And I'm going to use two different techniques to do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Filter pull-down menu, slide down to an option called Blur, and then the particular blur that I'm going to use in, in this case is called Gaussian Blur. Uh, these other blurs work in a very similar way. You can always experiment with them to see which one you like the best. I really kind of like the Gaussian Blur. So let's go ahead and click on that. Okay. The blur window is really pretty simple to use. It just has a one slider in it. The more you, you slide this radius slider to the right, the more the area you have selected becomes blurred. Now, I'm going to do one little thing here before I start sliding this and watching the blurring. I'm going to hide this selection line by pressing Control H on my keyboard. You can see the line has now disappeared. And that'll just make it a little bit easier for me to see what the heck's going on here. All right, I'm going to come down to my radius. I'm going to start sliding it over and dropping it. Oh, and if this little window pops up here, it says something about a number between 1 and 250. Um, just click OK and keep going. It's just one of those kind of nuisance little things that pops up in Photoshop sometimes. All right, now as I drag this over, you can see it's getting blurrier and blurrier. In fact, 
just to show you how it really is blurring. Let me drag it way over. See what it does there? Now, we don't want that. But uh, what we do want is a more subtle blur. And I'm going to come back here. You know, maybe to about right there once. Now, if we go up to the preview, there's a little preview checkbox. I uncheck it. There's the before. And there's the after. And you can see what I'm doing is just blurring it out just a little bit. I'm going to blur a little bit more before and after. Before and after. That's not too bad right there. Okay? So we'll click OK. Already, he's beginning to pop out a little bit more here. Now, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to go to the Enhance pull-down menu, slide down to Adjust Color, and then over to an option called Adjust Hue and Saturation. This handy little control opens up a window that lets us mess with the color, but in particular, we're going to use this slider called Saturation, which in essence is going to let us turn the color down. All right. Now, just to kind of show you the effect here, I'm going to take this little slider and drag it clear over and watch what happens. See how the background turned completely black and white? Now, that's really kind of a cool effect. In fact, uh, I might even consider just doing that. But in this case here, we don't want to get quite as carried away. And I'm going to drag this back over, introduce a little bit more color back into it again. And uh, it's not too bad. Let's let's click this preview again to see the before and after. There's the before, and then there's the after. And you see we're just turning down the color a little bit to de-emphasize that background again. We'll click OK. And there we go. We've got the background de-emphasized. Now, I still have that area selected. I've got to turn on the selection, uh, the selection lines by pressing Control-H. You can see it's still selected. I'm going to go ahead and go to Select and say deselect and there we go. Now I've got this picture, the original up here for you to see. Let me just switch to a dual pane view here and you can see the difference here. Here's the before, a lot of clutter in that background and here is the after. Okay, You can see it's really kind of a nice effect. It's a kind of a nice way for us to introduce some depth of field de-emphasize the background and really have the subject matter pop out. And you can use this effect in a lot of different situations where you're taking people pictures and the background gets in the way. Hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any comments about this, we'd love to hear your comments below uh, down in the comment area of this uh, video blog. And uh, hope you come back and, and see some more of our tutorials. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.